protests in St. Louis turned violent. Mark McClowski says he and his family have been threatened with violence. Under Missouri law, you have a right to defend your home and the lives of your family. A search warrant has been executed at the home of Mark and Patricia McCleskey. The husband and wife attorneys charged with pointing guns at protesters. They were simply trying to protect their home. Good evening, America. We are Mark and Patty McCloskey. We're speaking to you tonight from St. Louis, Missouri, where just weeks ago you may have seen us defending our home as a mob of protesters descended on our neighborhood. America is such a great country that not only do you have the right to own a gun and use it to defend yourself, but thousands of Americans will offer you free advice on how to use it. At least that's what we experienced. What you saw happen to us could just as easily happen to any of you who are watching from quiet neighborhoods around our country. And that's what we want to speak to you about tonight. That's exactly right. Whether it's the defunding of police Ending cash bail so criminals can be released back out on the streets the same day to riot again, or encouraging anarchy and chaos on our streets. It seems as if the Democrats no longer view the government's job as protecting honest citizens from criminals, but rather protecting criminals from honest citizens. Not a single person in the out of control mob you saw at our house was charged with a crime. But you know who was? We were. They've actually charged us with felonies for daring to defend our home. On top of that, consider this. The Marxist liberal activist leading the mob to our neighborhood stood outside our home with a bullhorn screaming, you can't stop the revolution. Just weeks later, that same Marxist activist won the Democrat nomination to hold a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. In the city of St. Louis, that's the same as winning the general election. That Marxist revolutionary is now going to be the congresswoman from the first district of Missouri. These radicals are not content with marching in the streets. They want to walk the halls of Congress. They want to take over. They want power. This is Joe Biden's party. These are the people who will be in charge of your future and the future of your children. They're not satisfied with spreading the chaos and violence into our communities. They want to abolish the suburbs altogether by ending single-family home zoning. This forced rezoning would bring crime, lawlessness, and low-quality apartments into now-thriving suburban neighborhoods. President Trump smartly ended this government overreach, but Joe Biden wants to bring it back. These are the policies that are coming to a neighborhood near you. So make no mistake. No matter where you live, your family will not be safe in the radical Democrats' America. At this moment in history, if you stand up for yourself and for the values our country was founded on, the mob, spurred on by their allies in the media, will try to destroy you. You've seen us on your TV screens and Twitter feeds. You know that we're not the kind of people who back down. Thankfully, neither is Donald Trump. President Trump will defend the God-given right of every American to protect their homes and their families. But more than that, Trump's vision for America is a country where you have an opportunity to work hard and build the life you dream of with a job you love, with your children being educated in great schools, in a community where your family can play in the backyard without fear, worship in a church without shame, and express your beliefs without retribution. Trump brought us the greatest economy our country had ever seen. The Democrats have brought us nothing but destruction. When we don't have basic safety and security in our communities, we'll never be free to build a brighter future for ourselves, for our children, or for our country. That's what's at stake in this election, and that's why we must reelect Donald Trump. God bless you. God bless the president. And, and God, God bless, bless these United, United States. States.